Hello, how y'all doing? Welcome to Book Reviews by Bird, Mania and Devil Productions. I'm your host, David E. McClendon Sr., and we'll roll into our video in just a second, but first a word of prayer. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for all the many blessings you bestowed upon us. Thank you for our YouTube watchers, all of our blog followers, all of our blog readers, all the publishers, publicists, authors, illustrators, merchandisers, manufacturer representatives, and others that we come in contact with via these blogs and these YouTube channels. If there's anyone out there seeking to find you, please help them to find you. It's in Jesus Christ, Yeshua's most holy and most precious name that we pray by the power of his blood. Amen. Genealogy Basics in 30 Minutes, 1st Edition, The Quick Guide to Creating a Family Tree, Building Connections with Relatives, and Discovering the Stories of Your Ancestors is by Shannon Combs Bennett. Let me tell you, this, this book is really amazing, and we've read some of the uh, comments that were listed on, online, and there are a lot of people that miss the point. Now, this is basics. This isn't going to get you into the um, world of advanced forensics and that sort of thing in genealogy. It's going to give you a great idea of where to start. Now, the book is 80-some-odd pages long, the actual book part. It's got some uh, appendixes or appendi or whatever you want to call it. Well, the whole book takes up really 84 pages before you get to the about the author and the append, appendi, appendixes, whatever you want to call them. Anyway, but it does give you the basics. And some of the people commenting were saying, well, I just want to know where to start. Well, it tells you where to start. It tells you exactly how to start. Now, I'm not a genealogist, and I don't play one on TV. But my wife is an amateur genealogist. Um been traced in her family tree for many, 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 many years. My grandfather, uh, Roberts, was uh, an amateur genealogist and just surrounded by a lot of uh, different amateur genealogists. And everything in this book is something that you need to know. Um, you need to get your FlipPal uh, mobile scanner and go to your relatives' houses and start scanning the documents they have. And with the reason I suggest that one is because you can take it and scan pictures up on the wall, even though they might be 16 by 20, and the flip pal's only like this big. You take it and uh, scan it with the picture on the wall, and then it stitches it together. It's just amazing. And that would be a wonderful tool for a genealogist. And she talks about some of the different uh, tools that you need. But she, all, she tells you where to start. She tells you some different places, some organizations, some different things online that will help you. Um, the Saturday Night, Saturday Night Genealogy, I think is what's the name of it, or Genealogy Saturday Night, a great forum for people to get together and do genealogy. And she talks about a lot of different places that you can use to get information on genealogy. It's just chock full. It does give you the basics. Now, you're not going to have your family tree traced down in 30 minutes be nice if you could, but then what would be the point? You'd be bored in no time. Uh, the biggest part of this is the hunt. It's like being a detective, you know, playing a, a mystery game. And that's what's so wonderful about genealogy. You can look and look and look and find nothing, and all of a sudden, boom, just out of everywhere, all sorts of relatives. And uh, the Mormon church used to say that when your relative wants to be found, he'll make himself found. And that's what you'll find in this. You know, when you're looking for somebody, when they're ready to be found, they'll be found. This book will give you those tools to find them, though. No, it's not going to research your family tree in 30 minutes. It takes a, you know, if you read this straight through, 30 minutes is about right for how long it takes to read it. But you're going to want to go back and uh, reference it all the time. So when you get ready to go to uh, do some genealogy research, take this with you. Take your smartphone with you, your pencils, your pens, and uh, whatever else. She gives you a lot of suggestions about what you need to take with you. Then go and visit those relatives. Go and visit the cemeteries. Go to the libraries. Get online. She tells you all about all of that in just a really short period of time. Now, some of the people were talking about, well, it's confusing, and no, it's not. I mean, if you've got half a brain, this book is easy to, to follow. Um, if you've got half a brain, you can know where to start with genealogy right off the bat. You're not going to be asking a question that somebody in the um, comments asked about, someone in the reviews asked about, 
well, I still don't know where to start. Well, if you don't, if you read this book and you still don't know where to start, there's something wrong with you. It's nothing wrong with the book. It gives you all the basics. And like I said, I'm not a genealogist. I don't follow the genealogy, but my wife loves it. And I know if I were to sit down and do it, I could do it by following this book. And I know that you will too. Now, this will make a wonderful Christmas present for anybody in your family that's a family historian or wants to be a family historian. Um... Maybe give everybody in your family one of these books and y'all start off on a genealogy quest together. You'll love it. Make a great Christmas present. Thank you. Wow, Dindy, does it tell you about how to uh, uh, research Snooky trees? No, but I imagine Snookies are the same thing as people. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, does it tell you about, like the other day, my, my mommy, uh, I bought her that book there, and, and, and my mommy, I went at home, and there were books and papers and all, all over the kitchen table. I had to eat my jelly sandwich outside on the patio. Well, there's nothing wrong with you eating your jelly sandwich outside on the patio. Fifty-three of them. It took me a while to haul all the bread and jelly out there. But uh, maybe one of these days we'll see our kitchen table again. I think it might still be under there, but I don't know. Uh, Daddy says that uh, we might have to build onto the house and go back to that... Uh, Home Buying in 30 Minutes books you talked about the other day and uh, go out and buy us another house so we have a house for us and a house for the genealogy stuff. Well, you know, Fred, that might be a good idea to have that sort of stuff around so you can store everything. Well, I think so. Anyway, uh, I'm getting ready to start my trip around the world and Mackenzie will be here, but she's out still trying to find her some shoes that she wants to wear uh, on her trip around the world. She needs to find some new shoes. Oh yeah, I don't know why that is, because our shoes are already sewn on to us, and so we can't change them anyway. But hey, you never know with girls. You know, some, sometimes girls, say they like shoes and stuff. Some of them do. Uh, I just like my shoes. Anyway, people, if you love genealogy, or you know somebody who loves genealogy, or you know somebody that thinks they might want to be a genealogist, uh, or with a little work, it'll be a Presto Burger, I don't know. Anyway, so... This book will make a great gift for him. Thank you. Bye! Ready to order? Click the link below.